Hello everyone, today I am going to show you how to set, get, and detect tiles in tile maps using C sharp. You can find the timestamps in the description if you want to skip to other sections of the video. First of all, your script should have using Unity Engine Maps at the start of the script. To be able to edit the tile map, you need to create and assign a public tile map variable, and then a public tile variable. Set tile uses vector tree int instead of normal vector tree or vector two. Create a vector tree int variable. Then, in the void function, make if statement where it checks if mouse button zero is pressed. Inside the statement, make a vector tree variable. I am going to call it MP. The MP is equals to camera dot main dot screen to world point. Inside the parentheses, we are going to type input dot mouse position. After that, we are going to change the vector tree int location. Location is equals to tiles dot world to cell. In parentheses, we are going to type MP. Then the main part setting the tile. Tiles dot set tile, and then parentheses. And inside the parentheses, we are going to type location, and then tile. And as you can see, it works really well. To get tiles in tile maps, use get tile. I will make a function which runs every time when I press the right mouse button. First of all, let's create the function. I will name it get t. Then the if statement. If input dot get mouse button down and the mouse button is one, get t. Copy the vector tree variable from the update function to your get tile function. This must be done to be able to refresh the vector tree int. Then we will paste the location update line. Below the pasted line we will make if statement if tiles dot get tile and the inside the parentheses we are going to type location and then debug.log and we will send a message saying tile and else debug.log and no tile basically the vector tree line updates the position of the cursor then the if statement checks if there is a tile at the position of the cursor if there is, it will send a debug message saying tile. If else, it will send no tile. You may be thinking, what do you mean with detecting tiles? I mean getting tiles neighbors and detecting a certain tile in the neighbors. It is easy to do. I have already added a new tile, which we are going to detect via the code. Let's add a new if statement. Copy the vector tree and the location update lines and paste them to the new if statement. Let's make the if statement run when you press the middle mouse button. Input.getMouseButton down and in parentheses we are going to type 2. Then, let's make a public tile variable. I am going to call it tile2. To detect the tile2, we need to make a new if statement under the location update line. If tile2 is equals to tiles.getTile, tile, and in parentheses we are going to type a location. It is that simple. If there is a tile2, send a debug.log message. 
let's get back to Unity to test it out. And as you can see, it works perfectly. To check the neighbor, you can add and decrease the X and Y value of the locate vector tree int. To do that, you'll have to type location.x or y plus or minus and then equals and then tile offset. So to give you an example, I'll add one to the tile y offset and then make a new if statement under it, which checks if there is a tile2 there. If there is, it sends a debug message saying tile2 above. Let's go back to Unity to test it out. As you can see, it works perfectly. So, there are some things I didn't show you. To remove a tile, use set tile, and instead of a tile variable, type nor. It basically resets the tile. If you want to get tiles from Unity's 2D tilemap master package, for example to rule tile, use get tile and rule tile. This same thing applies to every other tile variant in the same package. Thanks for watching this video. If you found this video helpful, perhaps give it a like. If you want more tutorials like this, be sure to subscribe.